Wait, wait. Ready? Okay. Hey guys, it's Millie. Welcome back to the Adore Beauty channel. Today we're gonna have a bit of a chat about oily roots, dry ends, how does it happen, what can we use to help with it, and what are some of my favorite prods and tips and tricks to help fix it. Pretty much the deal with having oily roots and dry ends for one, it actually just kind of goes on how your scalp produces oil. So these can have a lot of factors. You can talk about genetics, you can actually talk about like elemental um, factors as well. So things like if it's super hot outside, even if it's super cold, your body does things to help regulate your temperature that actually will affect your hair as well. It's annoying. I hate it. I know I personally <laughs> used to wash, have to wash my hair every single day until I got it in like a stable enough routine and then I would still find like I would wash my hair and the next day it would be super oily and my ends would be like um she a bit thirsty thanks I hate it so over the years I've learned these kinds of tips and tricks I now actually only wash my hair twice a week but let's get into some things that I found Alrighty, so say you've got oily roots, dry ends, and you're like, I just don't really know what product's gonna work for me. Well, you wanna focus on two main things. A, you wanna make sure that you're actually cleansing your scalp properly and getting rid of the buildup. And two, you wanna make sure that the products that you're using are supporting what you're wanting to achieve. If you do have dry ends, are they dry because they're bleached and lightened? You might actually have no color in your hair and maybe your hair's just a little bit dry and it needs a little bit more moisture. It's actually about finding out what your actual concern is so that then you can address it with a product or a leave-in. You want to break up your main hair concerns into two categories. So your shampoo is going to look after your scalp. So that's where, you know, you're going to really focus on cleansing. You're going to look at something that targets if it's oiliness, if it's dandruff, if it's lightweight, if it's volume, that's where you're going to focus on with your scalp. And with your shampoo if something says hydrating or nourishing i'm gonna be a little bit wary for someone like myself where i've got finer hair or you know i'm um, blonde textured hair sometimes i can find that it's gonna weigh my scalp down it's gonna make my roots a little bit more oily but it's not to say i can't use the hydrating conditioner and then your conditioner is gonna look after your ends. So that's gonna be your secondary hair concern. To start with a couple of my personal favorites, the first one I kinda of wanna talk about is Kevin Murphy Maxi Wash. Now it has disappeared from the office, but here it is in all its glory. It's in a really cute khaki, 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 khaki. Oh no. <laughs> It's patented all over again. No, I really love the packaging. Incredible formulas. Um, smells great, looks great in the shower. It's a purifying and detoxifying um, shampoo. So what's I gonna do is help to not just get rid of the uh, sebum and the excess oils and dirt um, from your scalp. It's actually gonna help to remove them with your hair. And that again, teamed up with your two to three shampoos is how you're gonna get a really nice cleanse. I can't have a video without mentioning one of my favorite brands, you know it, I know it, Kerastase, Obsessed. Barnes Evelyn is one of my all-time favorites. This is something that I recommend on the daily, formulated by a uh, dermatologist and cry... Crycologist is apparently what I was gonna say. I'm a crycologist. I cry every weekend. I'm a professional cryo. This one is formulated by trichologists, so it's actually gonna help to uh, prevent the excess sebum levels. So this one is quite literally formulated for oily roots and sensitized ends, which is what it says on the packaging. So we love that. And if you also want to target, like that's your one concern, and you only want to use one product, you just want one done this is gonna be your best friend. As a bargain kind of option, I will also mention the 11 Deep Clean. That's one of my favorite detoxifying shampoos. And if you're wanting to know more about affordable hair care brands, you can also click through up here. So the other kind of important thing that I really like to mention um, is using a scalp scrub. Now using a scalp scrub is not essential. However, if you are someone who has super oily roots, like say you're washing your hair every day, this is the one tip and trick that I think adding this into your routine you'll really start to elevate and that's where you'll really notice the difference. And when I added something like the Christophe Raban, um, this one is the volumizing paste, but the Christophe Raban purifying paste, which will pop up here, elevated my routine. I went from washing every second day to twice a week. Doing that one little thing of using a scrub, you know, every second wash, was incredible so it's got like little grains in it that when you pop it in your hands you kind of mix it on your fingertips and you kind of mix it into your hair and kind of get it in there and you really give yourself a really good head massage and it means that if you do that on your first wash what you're actually doing is getting everything that's from the scalp 
and you're really lifting it off the scalp and into the hair so that then when you do your second shampoo and you do your maxi wash or you do your Debbie Len or you do your deep clean, that means you're really cleansing it from the hair and you start fresh, which just feels so good. Now, if we're talking bougie and we're talking scalp scrubs, I absolutely cannot go past the Kerastase Chronologist pre-cleanse. Let me tell you about this little friend here. The Chronologist range in Kerastase is the bougie of the bouge. You get every single technology that's in all of their families chucked in one beautiful packaging. This scent, huh, gorgeous. So the main ingredient in this one is actually found in the deep dark depths of the ocean. They go all the way, all the way, all the way down, bring it back up and she is expensive. So I really enjoy the formulation of this one. I mainly find sometimes with scalp scrubs, they can be like a little bit more harsh. Um, this one has a super fine scrub, so it kind of just feels like a grittier shampoo. Sometimes as well with some different scrubs, you can kind of feel like your hair's been a little bit stripped. It's definitely not the way with this one, but she's not great on the bank account. Um, so we're just gonna scooch her over there. You're like Millie, it's really great. I've got my shampoo now. How the hell do I choose a conditioner? When we talk scalp health, especially oilier scalps, when you're applying your conditioner, you don't wanna go further than like an inch or so to your roots. Let your shampoo do its work. The conditioner does not need to go higher or on your scalp at all. How do we choose the right conditioner? Well, for one, we do have a video on that. But for two, <laughs> It's a really, really, really easy kind of cheat. You want to look for something that tailors to the ends of your hair. So if you're like myself, where you know, you've know you got really fine hair or you're blonde, you want a toning conditioner, you can look at something to match for the toning conditioner. I personally really like uh, NAC Blonde Plus and I also really love their Kerastar Sicker Flash. If you're wanting something that's just more like restoring, you can look at the resistance reins or strengthening from Kerastase. You want something super lightweight, you could look at Kevin Murphy Angel Wool. Rinse. Just had a brain <laughs> blast. Yeah. So dry ends, you just want to look for something more like a lighter weight nourishing conditioner. Um, again, Kerastase Lave Towel is beautiful. It's super, super, super lightweight. If you're someone who's got thicker hair, so say you've got like fine hair but a lot of it, so you need that little boost of hydration you can actually use the lightweight mask instead of a conditioner. A really great tip that I have as well is less is more. Start with a five to 10 cent piece, work it in the ends, and then the leftover is what you can use to really kind of get up there and hydrate um, as you get up the scalp. That first initial product hit, you really wanna focus just on the ends. So especially for like our finer head friends, you're gonna look for keywords like lightweight, doesn't weigh the hair down, great for fine hair. If you find that you've got, you know, your normal to thicker, obviously you can use something that's a little bit more of a heavy hitter hydration wise. Um, and that would just be all about, yeah, looking, looking for those keywords like hydration and then just when you're actually applying it, keeping it off the scalp. So I'm like a really, I'm a really big advocate for mixing and matching. You're allowing and giving yourself the best tailored experience for your hair because no two hairs are the same anyway. No two people are the same. Some you can find that oily scalp, dry ends, they can use just a hydration shampoo and conditioner and they're completely fine. I know that if I did that, my roots would be so oily the next day. I find that mixing and matching um, any of like the 11 products is incredible. Um, so their Hydrate My Hair Conditioner is really great for anyone with like finer hair to thicker hair. Smooth Me Now, if you find that you've got um, like a little bit of frizz, incredible. And there are also some really great options from Virtue, which P.S. We may have a video coming soon, so stay tuned for that one. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like to see more videos, please click here, and otherwise, we'll see you next time. Stay oily.